What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Fred. We gotta give her a name. <laughs> what is the name for her right now that's going on? I went and got a silk press. First of all, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, I y'all know the vibes. I come on here, I feel like I say the same thing all the time. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna indulge and apologize for not being here. I'm here now. Enjoy me now. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, let's drop some names for my fro. She need a name. Um, today's video, as y'all can see, both of my hands on the wheel. I got me a little car mount so that I can talk in the car and be safe and not be holding my phone. Because, ma'am, you are not supposed to be doing that. Um, today is going to be, it's not going to be really a the day with me. Just kind of updates. As I'm picking up the kids, I'll give y'all updates on the girls and certain things that's going on. Y'all, today, like, I really feel a peace over me that I that I haven't felt in a really, really long time. It's, um, I'm daily, da growing daily, evolving daily, like, my thinking, just I'm trying to think on a different, think and listen on a deeper level. That 18 wheeler scared me. It's not that. <laughs> Yeah, I drive like an old woman on the road. Anyway, I'm trying to think and listen and understand on a deeper level than what's in front of me, if that makes sense. And I've had really, really, really trying times. Like, a lot of things, you know, are about to change in my life. My life is about to elevate in ways that I don't, that I'm trying to make sure I'm prepared for so that I'm not overwhelmed, so I fully understand what it is, and so I fully know. Now, I know some things are gonna come as a surprise. God, he He know. He has the ultimate plan. He know where it's gonna end up, but I'm just trying to ready myself mentally, emotionally, um, you know, just ready myself for the shifts that are about to take place in my life. Um, a lot of things, I'm gonna have to let a lot of people go, let a lot of things go, a lot of bad habits you know uh work on that but i'm i'm slowly i'm slowly creating a space of just healing and then creating a space of peace and i'm going you know what i'm saying like this that's the type of stuff that i'm on in my life as it relates to me as a as a woman like above all all them title like wife mother da -da 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 -da. like as a woman i'm trying to better myself and ready myself and it's a journey y'all healing is a journey like <laughs> it is a journey people that are supposed to be on your side gonna leave your side you're gonna be criticized you people gonna look at you like you crazy but you gonna feel good about it and on the other side of that you know it's beautiful so go ahead and take that leap because i'm taking that leap but i'm definitely feeling it 100 percent. it's a lot of things i share with you guys there's a lot of things that i would prefer not to share <laughs> that's happening in my life and as i feel comfortable i might you know i might share it one day but it's at my own pace so um yeah this video is really just to come on here and say hey let you guys know that like some things happening in me and with me that i'm trying to embrace trying to navigate through you know just trying to go through and feel the feels. I, I'm learning about myself that it's important that I feel, that I feel the feels. I have to go through the feeling. I can't sweep them under the rug. I can't suppress them. I can't smoke them away. I can't, I can't, I just have to feel them. I gotta be present and sit with them and figure, figure a bunch of things out. And some days I wake up and I'm okay and I got it and I feel like I can take over the world. And other days I feel like the world is on top of me and I feel like I'm drowning not good enough but i always have to remind myself train your thoughts train your words watch what you say be gentle with yourself be patient with yourself and that's how i've been you know mobbing in these streets you know what i'm saying <laughs> no but really um so updates on the girls i'm gonna let y'all talk to them as they pour into the car from school i'm headed to work right now but um madison broke her ankle in track <laughs> I was so excited that she was starting track and I'm gonna try to find a video and insert a video. I was so excited she started track my this is because the last time Madison attempted track, they got into the car accident and 
um, if you don't know what Carson and I'm talking about, you gotta look through one of these videos. Or until, no, I'm gonna find out how to link the video of the story time about my kids getting into a really bad accident. But that accident, Madison was banged up the most. She broke her collarbone, broke her arm, like right before, and she was excited about track. So fast forward two years to school track. She's seventh grade and she's ready. She runs in her first track meet, fractures her ankle, at, at practice before the second meet I didn't know it was fractured because she was still walking on it she was still running she was like mama I'm good I'm good but I noticed I let her run in a second track meet <laughs> yeah I let her run in a second track meet and she was like wobbling she was just hobbling I noticed her loving it when she I know I feel like when she knows that I was looking at her she would kind of straighten up her walk because she was that excited and that she really wanted to run track that bad but I texted her I'm texting her from the stand you do not need to run like uh <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I'm like texting her and I was supposed to be not doing it but I didn't care I was like you do not need to run you do not want to further injure yourself like just save yourself like it's it's gonna come i don't want to let you run on it and hurt yourself more and so her coach finally pulled her from that fast forward another week still goes by because i'm thinking it's just like bruised or she sprained you know strained or something i'm just i'm not thinking that it's broken because she's still walking on it she's still trying to go to practice mom i feel good today i feel okay my ankle don't really hurt today i'm icing it rubbing it down we doing the you everything that we supposed to do when you kind of like strain you know i felt like if it was broken or fractured or anything she would be in a lot more pain than she was putting off fast forward to one saturday she wakes up her ankle is so well uh oh <laughs> so i said all right <laughs> at this point like ma'am let's just let's go so we walk gets we walk to the car get in the car we head into you know what i'm saying to the emergency room and we get start but i mean it's like a normal day i'm like i'm not expecting to go to the doctor and hear the news that i'm about to hear so he comes in he does his little check you know how they wiggle your foot wiggle your toes check your shit ask you where it hurt what's your pain levels all of that stuff so we get past that. He was like, I mean, I don't see that it's broken. He said, I saw her walking in here. Like, I don't think it's broken. I just think she strained it or something. You know, like, it doesn't seem to hurt. He, and I mean, he was flexing that thing. Like, flexing her ankle. And I was like, yeah, surely if it's broken, she would be in a lot more pain. Baby, that man went back. This is He told me this before he looked at the x-ray. He went back to look at the x-rays. He came back in. He stops. He goes, she broke it. <laughs> I was like, come again. Say what? come again and say what to me it's what yeah he was like yeah and so i asked i was like okay let me see the x-ray i need to see it for myself but i didn't even end up getting a look at the a good look at the x-ray because the splint man came in he's like i'm gonna put her in a splint you need to call the ortho and then make an appointment go get her in a cast asap so i did all of those things if that was Saturday, Sunday, I took that splint off because her little foot and stuff, it started swelling. Issues that she wasn't even having before. When he put the splint on, started swelling and started, I, I mean, I, I don't know a lot about injuries. I'm not a injurologist. <laughs> I sound like Riley, okay. But no, really, I don't know a lot about injuries. So in my mind, I'm like, she was fine before this. Like it wasn't, it was swole when we woke up Saturday morning, but it wasn't swole and in pain and where like she couldn't put no weight on it. So that's where I took the splint off. Monday we get to the doctor. They put a cast on her. She's bummed out at this point. I just want to run track. Like, you know, the whole thing. She was just extra dramatic with it because she a teenager. That's what they do. Um, I said, Maddie, it's going to be time. Like, let's rest up. Let's get your ankle healed up. And we can attempt to, you know, be ready in summer track. Because the doctor told us, look, I'm going to just put it in a cast for three weeks. Because <laughs> the injury is two weeks old. Like, at this, I, I don't know. So, I guess normally it's six weeks. But because we waited so long to go into the doctor, she was like, we're going to try this for three weeks. So, this is week two of Madison in the cast. We've already had to go back to the doctor because we got the inside of the cast wet. And her skin started to get really irritated um what is happening up here see i can't these people is not driving properly what are y'all doing mr trashman my name be real bad y'all um driving
driving on the road, especially when people be doing the most. Like these trucks, sir, why are you driving like you were in a Corvette? Corvette, Corvette. <laughs> My kids be like, Mom, you so lame. Anyway, we had to go back. Her skin was getting irritated because we got the cast wet. And they, if you have ever been in a cast or had a kid that has a cast, you know they stress to you, do not, do not, do not get any type of moisture down there. Because it doesn't dry properly. And then that padding, it just irritates the skin. So we had to go back a week later and get her a new cast. And she's cast up. She changed her color and everything. She feels more confident about this cast. And, you know, I'm just trying to keep her spirits up. Nothing really new with Kennedy and Riley. Well, I shouldn't say nothing new because it's always something new with them. Oh, I'll give y'all a Riley story. Actually, I'm just going to put the video in. Go ahead, watch the video. Okay. So, how's that there? Now, if we going on a, on a not even diet, so just no junk, like chips and ice drinks and stuff that means you gotta do it too oh that's a tough one kid uh, ain't no, and that's a tough one either either you do it or i'm just gonna say then why does it matter Fault, lead by example okay you need to not her telling me to lead by example i was like Ooh. so my kids been getting me together y'all they've been getting me together but I'm loving this journey. I'm, I love my life. I love the type of job that I have. It affords me to be able to really tap in with my children as they're growing up. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to, uh, for, fortunately, my parents did their job to put us in a, in a position to where we could have, you know, job security and where we can have, it, it's flexible enough for us to still be able to be with our families and raise our children. I'm grateful for that. So. That makes it easier. My kids get me through a lot. My daughters are helping me get through a lot, a lot, a lot of things, which is why I hold them in such high regard. Like they such dope individuals and they don't even know it yet. They kids, I can't wait till they really come into, you know what I'm saying? Like knowing who they are. And I spend a lot of time on grooming that part of them where I might go lacking in other areas. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm probably not as strict with yours as I should be. You get what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. I go through there. I'm hollering. I'm like, hey, y'all need to get here and get this stuff together. Every night, clean this kitchen. Don't go to sleep with this kitchen dirty. Like, I have that, but I focus more on, I focus more on their souls and their hearts and who they are as people and who they grow up to be and how they feel about themselves and, you know, like, just really tapping in with them. So, I do spend a lot of time doing that. But that's mainly it. I'm just driving. I'm going to stop and get me a little bite to eat and get to work. And I will see you guys when I pick the churn up. He was still mad. And so Sebastian asked him what was wrong. And he said, tell Riley to stop bullying me. That was 15 whole minutes ago. No one was even speaking to you anymore. You just don't want to do the work. So he turned his paper blank. Blank. That makes no sense, though. But, I, but I'm bullying. So I picked up Riley. Riley's the first one to get picked up. I went to work, did a little work. I just, I am really excited about where my life is about to go. That's how excited I am. Um, I just had a call. Uh, I've been writing a book about my life, loosely based on my life, for about six years. And I haven't completed it because it's about my life. My life has been changing. I'm, you know, been changing and going through. I had the most, I had the most amazing call today in the next step to getting my book to you guys to where you'll be able to kind of, cause I done been through, I done been through a few things y'all. I've grown, I done made some stupid decisions. I was shut right talking about a few. I done made a bunch of stupid decisions, but I, I feel okay right now. I feel, I really feel okay. So stay tuned for my book. It's coming in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. But we're sitting here waiting on Maria to get here, aka Kennedy. Aka Riley got in here with all the tea today. She said somebody looked and sounded dumb. What did you? What was you just saying? Why he look and sound dumb? Bro, cause he like when the hour we were just telling him maybe you should do the work, and then I was like, well maybe if you did the work, cause we're not supposed to be on that. And I said like raise my voice, cause he wasn't listening. I was saying, and I was like trying to help him, cause. Mm -hmm. Don't look bad because it was gonna look bad on our whole class. 
Mm -hmm. just didn't work. And I didn't want to look bad. <laughs> and so he's going to be like, no, how about you tell him to leave me alone? Stop being a Karen. And then when I say, and then his partner was trying to help him, right? Mm -hmm. He you know, give, His partner was giving him a quiz. He was like, what's done with us? And I saw him looking at his paper and I said, don't look at the paper, actually do it. And so, and I said, you well, got my and, no, and then I told his partner that he was looking at the paper. And he gonna break his pencil on about no I'm not. And we and I said, Well I saw you <laughs> and then he just kept getting mad, banging his head against like the like five times against the like But maybe the, the little boy going thing. through some things. You just gotta give him a little grace. Just don't fool with him. The only thing he's going through is being mentally retarded. Like That's going through some right mental issues are real in people. Mental health is real. It's not even mental health. He's just normal he's just a normal kid. Literally. <laughs> But my point is, you have bouts and spouts of anger where you used to bang your head or bang your fist on a paper. Hey, I don't break pencils because I, somebody catches me looking at a paper. I know, right? It's probably deeper than that is all I'm saying. Okay. Riley Chanel, ladies and gentlemen. I already gave them the rundown of the cast. You want to show the people the cast? Put your cast up. Did you fart? No. Oh. Why, what is he talking about? Let me take my sock off. You do not have to take your sock off. This is the cast, you guys. It was Riley, neon. Move up. Riley, stop meddling. <laughs> this is before. Why it, it's so big for a tiny little fracture? She has a fracture in her ankle, and the cast and is damn near up the knee. And I can still run track if Mama didn't take me to the doctor. If my coach didn't tell me to tell her to take me. You gonna crack You see what I'm saying? I still would have went to track. You gonna crack You can't do that, Maddie. She gonna what, Riley? I'm gonna be hopping on that track. About to go be beating. Oh, ain't that a move right there? Just a move. She put that hey, baby got a she went up. They start summer track practice today, so she's all like, "I'm excited! I'm excited!" She got in the car excited, and two minutes later, she is snoring. Like, anywho, those are our updates. That's what's going on in our little world. Also, I gotta tell y'all something be... that happened to me at school. Just tell them what I grabbed my phone. My crush winked at me. I told her, I said. She said I was looking ratchet today. No, what I said was, she hasn't been looking the best since she has the cast on. <laughs> she, I told her she'd been looking ratchet or ragged. I forgot what word I used. Ratchet. But she has to wear sweats and, you know, she just, she ain't been looking her best. And I still got to get her hair taken down. Um, it's time for her braids to come down. Um, But I told her, somebody weaking at you while you looking dusty. Like, that's how you know Ooh. you got it, sis. No shade, like not that you're a dusty person, but I mean, we just like I look dusty today. Look what I, I got on my. No, you don't. Yes, I do. My, I ain't put nothing on my hair. And your curls are still popping. My curls are still popping, but they look a little <coughs> what do you like mean? they can use a little dirt, a little water. Y'all always be thinking y'all just not. Put your seatbelt back on. I don't know why you keep taking it off. We are not stopped nowhere. Anyway. Get a Tesla. Those are the updates. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. I wish Kennedy was up so she can. End. Kennedy, can you end my video? Mama, you really woke her up just to end a video. Sure. Okay, go ahead. All right, y'all. This is the end of the YouTube video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and turn on y'all post notifications so y'all can watch all of her other videos. She woke me out of my sleep to just do this. So, love y'all. Bye. <laughs>